Okay. What do we have here, Miss Kathy? We have an MX5400. MX5400, right from Newfoundland, Kubota, or NL Kubota in St. John's. And they also have a new place in uh, Gander, Newfoundland. Oh, they do, yes. Beautiful yes, spot. They do. And they were nice enough to uh, bring out a MX5400 and lend it to us so we can do some designing on. Oh, yeah. Exciting. Eh? So, it's a nice machine. Let's show them a little bit about it inside. I kind of like, there's something I really like about this one. It has the air ride seat. So, it's a nice machine. And folks, yes, it's for sale. And it's brand new. There's only 0.8 hours on it. 0.8. Wow. Now, just imagine, eh? Are you imagining? That's incredible detail. So, we're going to have to do a few little things with this. Oh, yeah. So, now you were the one that really wanted this. That's correct. Because you're not the one that got to build it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got people for that. You got people for that, yeah. yeah. Like one. One. <laughs> yeah. Plural, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, you make me work like people, but I'm only a, a one, per one person. Well, I mean, you work like people. So anyway, I can see something right off the bat, and you did mention it before this. I did. And that's those two halogen lights. Man, I don't know why people use halogen lights, or companies use halogen lights anymore. That's right. So, you want a light bar, an LED light oh, bar? Sure do. Designed for that. Now. I really don't know how we're going to accomplish this, but anyway, I guess I got to dig in and come up with some cool ideas. Now, the other side of the coin, people might say, well, take them out of it all together. Mm. I'm going to try to keep them there, and I'm going to give my reasons for keeping them there if I can figure out how to keep them there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know you can figure out how to keep well, them there. Well, yeah, I got a good idea what's going to happen there now. <laughs> now, on the back, let's have a look at the back. You also said you wanted one for the back. Well, I mean, you know, go big or go home. Well, that's quite the overhang there. So, they're going to have to attach to the lollipop brackets. Wow, yeah, true. So, I have to see what I can come up with there. Well, that's right. And toolbox. You want a toolbox? Toolbox. Yeah. Now, we have a toolbox already done for this. We do. So that's going to be a little bit easier. So we'll uh, show that on it because people have been buying them and not seeing them on them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we haven't. We saw it in pictures, but we haven't seen one on the actual machine. Now, I, I actually had it in my mind, the first thing when I saw this tractor, I actually had it in my mind to put a step on the right side. And I said, well, I got at it and I said, I don't know. It's a, it's a good bit of design work got to go into it, and I think that the cost would, wouldn't be... Uh, to people's liking, so I, I scratched that out. The other side of the coin is too, hey, you know, can't have everything. No. So I think I'm going to not do the, the step on the right side, because the other thing is it would only be an emergency step anyway, because you can't get in from the right side. Oh yeah, exactly. There's no handle. Uh -huh. You can get out from, yeah. from inside. <clears throat> So it would have been like a type of an emergency step type of thing. Yeah. But face it, it's not like you're jumping out of a skyscraper when you do open the door. So, <laughs> so you're good. Yeah, so you should be okay on that. Um, what else? Well, we have our step. Yeah, well, we got a step to go there because I measured that. Do you know that that sucker is 19 inches off the ground? Wow. Like, I mean... You'd have to be a basketball player to comfortably get in and out of that. That, that tractor's quite high with those tires, right? And we're no basketball player. No, no, I can't even dribble. 
No. You know. And we have our easy entry handles. The only dribble well. I can do is when I'm peeing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose a lot of people can go with that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and we also have our easy entry. Yeah, we've got a handle yeah, to go in there because that's quite high. So with the with, with our step, you put your handle here, and it's much easier to get in, in our opinion. In our opinion. And people who have them seem to like them. And in their opinion. And we have, well, a wheel spinner. That's and right. we have a differential extension pedal. That's right, our FEL tube caps. FEL tube caps as well, yeah, mm -hmm. they go there. So it's uh, it's something that we're going to have to and get into. Course, we got our hazard light protector yeah, we got, lenses, covers. Yeah, guards, right? Guards, yeah, for the hazard yeah, lights. Yeah, so we'll have all that on when we come back and uh, show you exactly what we've done. And hopefully you folks will like it. Hey? Eh? Yeah. So we'll be way. back, well, I guess through the magic of video, shortly. <laughs> okay, we're back through the magic of video. It didn't take us long no. to design all of this. No, I did it. Well, hang on, I'll back up a little bit. There you go. All righty. So do you want to point out exactly what we've done? Okay, I'll start and then I'll come around. Okay. So we'll start. We've got our FEL tube cap covers. Okay. So you know, turn your tube into a storage. Yep. For your uh, tools and ropes and chains. Oh, and then magic step. Yeah. Who can't magic go step. wrong with a step? So the original one was how high? Original one was 18 and a half. From the bottom of the From step the to the ground. From the bottom of the step, bottom of the step to the ground. And this one is 13 from the bottom of the step to the ground. Yeah, and the thing is too, you don't have that long of a swagger to get out or get down because you got two no, steps now. You got two steps, exactly. Let me yeah. try. There we go. Oh, and I'm gonna use our trusty grab handle to get in. Yeah, okay. Up. Yeah, look at that, eh? Now why would you use that handle and not the handle on the that came with it. Wow, because I don't know, it's really hard to reach up there. And not only yeah. that, look at the shape. It's yeah. It's, see, you kind of got to twist your wrist. Yeah, and I got to pull up because I'm too, I'm not tall enough. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. I'll go back. Here yeah. we go. Three steps, right? Yep. And you're in. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm in my seat, and I want to get back out. So same thing. It helps good to balance me here. Now we we got a. Um, a do flicky for that for the steering wheel, don't we? Oh yes, we a got custom a custom wheel custom spinner. Custom wheel spinner with our logo and stuff with our on logo it. Logo and stuff in it, yeah. And what else is missing at the cab? The deferential lock pedal. Yeah, and we have that. And uh, have what that. else is missing at the cab? Our mug holder is missing. Yeah, yeah. you got mug a nice holder. mug holder over there. Nice mug holder. Yeah, we didn't want to do all the installs. No, we wanted to do some because we wanted to take some measurements as well. Yeah, right on. Okay, now. The beauty is, have a look up here. Front light bar. Okay. Brand spanking new. Right on. Right? You'll right explain on. in detail, but come back yeah. here. Look I'll at give you this. the reason why we designed it like that now shortly. Rare light bar. Okay. And of course, folks are familiar with our hazard yeah. light guards. Yeah, the light guard there. Okay, folks, this one here was a bit of a hard one to design for because the shape of the cab, it's a, it's a big overhead over the cab, overhang over the cab. And I'm going to tell you, like there for a while, I kind of stared at the death for about a half an hour. But anyway, we started at it. We took, well, I guess, four days to develop it. Well, yeah. But this here is very unique. It's for one thing, it's really, really strong. Just hold on to that for me, please. Just look. You shake the whole cab. Oh yeah. Okay. And it can take a LED light bar up to what? Um, 34 inches. Are you sure? Not positive. Well, you better go check. So is it 34? 34. That's the, from, that's basically the whole area here, right? Yeah. If you wanted to, I mean, you put a 34 light bar on that, and you're going to see that from the space center. That's right. That's a maximum, so you can go in between, obviously. Yeah. Now, 
it's kind of got a unique design because of its shape. You say you put your light bar here, now you have an opportunity. You've got about eight or nine inches here that you could put another small light bar and it could end, uh, end up being rear ditch lights. Oh yeah. So if you were plowing snow in the nighttime, you could see where your snow is blowing. Or if you were plowing a field, you could see on both sides of the tractor quite easily. So it's customizable by the customer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right? good. You know? That's good. And it's not hard to get your wiring in because you could run it inside then down and go in through your through the back there or there's lots of ways of getting your, your wiring down because our 5740 I did all of that as well. The front one now there's something else too hang on now there's something else too that people don't realize with this MX it has no rear lights at all. Oh no that's right none. None. So you had no lighting back there. There's no lighting if you buy it there's no lighting so what an opportunity I know. to give this thing a fantastic upgrade by putting an LED light bar in the back. Fantastic. Okay. Well, you Toolbox. Three. Toolbox. Toolbox just bolt on. Way to go. Now, the front. front. Why did we do it in the front? Well, guys, as I mentioned before, halogen lights. It came with halogen lights. I guess probably the most inefficient light on the market is a halogen light. I can guarantee you, you put a light bar there, what's that? Uh, 17 inch. 17 right inch light bar maximum up there and you turn on that 17 inch light bar and you turn on them halogen lights, you probably gonna have to look real hard to see that they're even on. But why did I leave them there? I left them there because at least they're gonna be road legal. The uh, LEDs won't be road legal. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So you can turn off your LEDs, turn on your halogen, and you're away to the races. And hit the road. Nobody can stop you, you know. And it's a, uh, and and I'm telling you, it looks good. All the brackets are well hidden, and it looks like a clean, clean install. Yeah, what do you think? I think that's great. I mean, who yeah. wouldn't want that? Well. It's tidy, it's clean, you're going to have yeah. visibility. You'll notice that the brackets are in two pieces. That's because it makes uh, shipping it cheaper. That's right. It makes packaging it easier and it makes it stronger. stronger. Yeah. Believe it or not, it makes it stronger. That's the, right. The, uh, it does. the connecting piece add so much rigidity that is unbelievable yeah it's amazing we were amazing yeah. when we tested it yeah exactly yeah so there it is uh the mx 5400 it'll fit i guess and that'll fit all mx models yeah the mx 5400 and 6000 for sure yeah right and other models yeah. possibly as well but those two exactly for sure. so anybody in, in newfoundland looking at buying a kubota there you go. i'm telling you folks these are the people to check out. They're in St. John's and they're in Gander. And I'm going to tell you, they've got a world-class dealership with an all-star team. Don't they? In both areas. Oh, yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. And we probably wouldn't even have a mod business no, only for they've I, supported us since yes, day one. That's right. And folks, we're not just saying it because they're helping us out. We were buying Kubotas from them before we even knew who worked there. Exactly. So, oh, our cat is here. Hey, pussy cat, can you do a cat scan on that Kubota? <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. Hi. That's our little orphan cat, folks. The person who owned it passed away, and she was always an outdoor cat, and she never had a home. And she never had anybody to feed her. You couldn't even touch her. Now we feed her every day, sometimes three times a day. And she gets up in my lap and she purrs. And yes. Anyway, we're talking about tractors, aren't we? <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
yeah. <laughs> but that's nice. But you know, know we yeah. like our little cat. We like our little cat. We're really so glad. Nobody to wandered, her. and we took her, and she's we here begging her. now. She's probably twelve years old. We figure. Yeah. Hello, puss. Hi. Oh, she don't like cameras. <laughs> She's camera shy. She's like Kathy. <laughs> yes. Anyway, folks, so I hope you like our, our mods for the MX. We're always trying to come up with something new. But this really, really needed light bars. I mean, those light bars, they're new. That's a new mod yeah. for sure the rest are familiar with. Kathy was after this tractor probably for two years yeah. to get light bars designed for it. And I'm telling you, like, this tractor really needed light bars. And, uh, the step don't hurt it either, because I'm going to tell you something. You you got to be in good shape to get aboard that with that regular oh, step. Oh, you do. Step. Did you see how easy that was? One, two, three steps. Yeah, you're in. and you're in. Yeah, we should try to design an escalator for a <laughs> yeah. tractor. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's fantastic. So, folks, thanks for watching. Um, Kathy will have this up on the website later on today or tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, of course comment if you like on the on the uh, the mods and if you see anything you like check us out specialty repairs custom mods dot com that's it and uh, <laughs> stealing <laughs> she, the show hey eh, puss she says i'm here i want something to eat oh yeah Hello. she did too a lot <laughs> yeah so anyway uh and i'd like to thank uh, darcy and and the boys at uh, newfoundland kubota we really appreciate all your help throughout the years oh exactly not just and, now, uh, for bringing this years. out and wesley the delivery guy no better on the face of the earth nope, top notch yep top notch <laughs> okay folks you guys take care and god bless